Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boos and I'm here to show you the glazing brushes in Corel Painter Essential 7. I'm really excited to be making this video because I've been using these brushes a lot lately in my personal work. You can see I've used them in this picture. What they've done to help me is help me create subtle gradations. They're almost like watercolor like markers that help take the software feel out of making a gradient and add what you need for values back in the painterly experience. This one doesn't have too much of an example as far as gradation, but you can still see how that soft natural feel definitely helped me to achieve what I was aiming for in this picture. So we're going to go to some line work I have prepared and I have a, a I have the line art here and I have an extra layer under here and we're going to go ahead and time lapse the process uh, from be from beginning to end of using the glazing technology. You're going to see me go back and forth between lights and darks and colors and really building something up based off of again hand painted gradients. These brushes again I'm going to show you off to the side here one more time. These brushes really allow me to go in and out or just out and in from one end to the other uh, any way that I like it and any any time that you want to let's say there's something that's a little rough there you can you can go ahead and grab that and smooth it out. These brushes are are intended for painting so you know you have to keep in mind that there is going to be some of your strokes but if you if you let it build up it actually creates a really nice effect for the rest of your painting so don't get too worried about smoothing everything out as you go you'll see how I'm going to paint this up here and we'll go ahead and look at the results when we're done Okay, so you can see how that using this brush helped me to create a lot of different color variations that go in and out of each other. And this is a pretty basic startup in my opinion. You know, this, we're still not adding in a lot of color theory. This is pretty pretty neutral within that kind of talk. So what we're really looking at here is we're looking at just value change. And you can see right now that even without the color, this was an incredible tool to help me to achieve the flat look to the look that takes your image off the page. And this to me has been really incredible. Like you saw the two pictures earlier, I don't think that I would have as, as easy of a time uh, that I have had recently creating these images without using some of this glazing technology that again is like a mechanical gradient watercolor that is just indescribable the kind of experiences I've had with this brush just to color my line work that I was struggling so hard to color before so I'm really excited to see what you all make with these brushes and what kind of things that color or even paint with them for that matter I'd also like to add that there are a lot more of these brushes in this pack that you can add effects with so after you've even went through and and done all the basics with it now we've got some some fun ways to add effects in a really subtle way effects are really hard to add um, and look like you're not trying too hard or being unnatural and this you can see let's take this cloud brush for example i can ease in and out as i need so let's go like this that's pretty cool there we go. All right. Well, I'm, again, I'm excited to see what everybody makes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this process uh, of something so simple, but I hope it helps you with your work.